Uh, here is my presentation. Can you hear it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Alexander and uh, and as iOS developer, I'd like to show you uh, and tell you about uh, nearby interaction, air text, or and uh, say how Apple share your location. Um, as a developer, a uh, few years ago, uh, me with my friend started pet project. We worked with the location. Uh, we knew how they share, how Apple share your location, how it works with the Google Maps, Apple Maps, and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's why I'm really interested in uh, location. And uh, that's why I'd like to say you uh, some about this term. Uh, First of all, a little bit. Uh, can you please uh, uh, open your on, on one this uh, QR code and what uh, for one question? How frequently iPhone share your location without your intervention? So, uh, as we know, Apple is uh, quite a uh, closed system. Uh, sometimes you can't do a lot of things uh, with the location because you need to do a lot of. Um, you need to do a lot of. Um, uh, settings, uh, permissions, and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, tell me, please, uh, what do you think? How uh, frequently Apple, without your intervention, intervention uh, uh, shares your location? Oh, I can see that uh, our change that it changed very, uh, very fast. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll show you result in the end of presentation. Uh, and thank you for your attention for. For Wharton. So, small agenda for today. First of all, we'll speak about Find My. Uh, after that, about U1 chip and ultra wideband technology. Uh, after about Nurbe interaction technology and his evolution. About AirTags and about the uh, future of AirTags uh, and uh, location in the Apple site. And here is I have video. Can I ask please to uh, open this video to, to all, uh, for all people can see it? Antoine, I guess this question for you. Could you please uh, share your video? Okay, so I'll try to play it on my presentation. Uh, if it will be laggy, sorry, please. It's a video from uh, one of Apple presentations. Uh, maybe you can, maybe you see it before. Uh, do you do you hear, do you hear me, sorry, Alexander? It's video from yeah. Apple presentation. Uh, maybe you can. I can hear you. <laughs> you have to share it. You. you have to share it uh, directly, like we've done in. Uh, in, uh, ah, I'm so, I'm sorry. I yeah. thought it was save it. You have to share it. You have to share it uh, directly, like we've done in. Uh... One moment. Yeah, it's done. Keys. And yeah, that's it. 
thank you for your attention. It's really advertisement that uh, <laughs> after that uh, I bought my first air tanks. So I'll continue with my presentation. Uh, and uh, let's speak uh, about uh, Find My. It's an uh, application created by Apple for managing of devices. Uh, it started in uh, 2010 when uh, you had possibility to, to play uh, sound on your iPhone remotely. Uh, for example, uh, you somehow uh, forgot somewhere your iPhone or couldn't find them and you can't, uh, for, for example, uh, from call on them. Uh, in this situation, you can open your MacBook or your Mac uh, or other device uh, and just play sound on them uh, due to this Find My uh, application. Uh, during the uh, long evolution of this uh, app, we found out can, uh, first of all, play sound, enter send, uh, state lost device, uh, delete all data. It's speaking about, uh, of course, iPhones, uh, or MacBook and the show of location. Uh, and now I'll show you example of working of these devices. This especially my uh, with my iPhone, with my second uh, iPhone, with my Apple Watch, uh, and with my uh, with my uh, AirPods. Uh, what can I see? I can see, of course, name of my device, uh, how it's uh, located, that it's near me. And uh, if we imagine that it will be uh, somehow far from me, I can uh, find it. I, I, I can find it. So it's a list of my devices. Uh, I can go to device details. Uh, I can play sound of them. It's uh, 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 We can play sound on uh, our Apple Watch, uh, on our AirPods, on our iPhones. And we can find, uh, I'll show for the next slide uh, how it looks like. Uh, we can uh, find, uh, we can show notification uh, when some people find them. Uh, and uh, things that I like most of all, uh, it's uh, marked uh, as lost. Um, in this uh, issue, in this uh, issue, if you, for example, lost your iPhone, some people can uh, go, uh, can find them, uh, can scan it by uh, your, by your, by its own program, Find My. Uh, and uh, directly send to you a message. Uh, and send to you a message or call on your phone when you lost them. Uh, it's entering the lost mode. Uh, when you click that you lost your device, you can change. Uh, you can change. Uh, uh, it will be a mail uh, like your way of communication or mobile phone. And here is it's a search in a pro, in a progress uh, in the right uh, screen. It's uh, how it was before uh, before I uh, I was sixteen and uh, right now it's uh, from the left side. It's how it is right now on uh, our uh, on our iOS on our iOS sixteen. Uh, yeah, you can find for uh, here on the left. You can see that your device is afar. Uh, when you move to your device, you'll see uh, arrow uh, uh, that will show you look, that will show a direction to your device. Uh, you will and you after that to find you. Uh, even uh, also, you can play sound uh, as I told before uh, to find them. For example, <laughs> in, it's in some of your a lot of uh, in, in in your closets, for example, or other things. It's about search of your devices and how it works. Uh, it works. Apple especially pre uh, prepared U1 chip that is worked on an ultra wideband uh, technology. Uh, U1 chip was added uh, firstly on iPhone 11, uh, and right now for on uh, almost all devices it, it is uh, added to iPhone uh, starting from iPhone 11 to Apple Watch. And the last uh, revision of AirPods Pro, uh, AirPods Pro 2, uh, right now have it, uh, have it too. So it's made two weeks ago, it was added to a new device of Apple. So what is ultra wide wideband? It's the ultra wideband. It's a technology developed in the US uh, for the military, especially for radars. Uh, starting for 2002, it does not require certification. 
So that's why we can use uh, um, ultra wideband technology and Apple created U1 chip for it. For it, uh, it ultra wide uh, communication uses short range, high frequency radio signals to pinpoint the location of other devices. In our case, using the U1 chip, this provides accurate new range geolocation communication that is much more accurate than GPS or Bluetooth. So speaking about U1, uh, speaking about ultra wideband technology, uh, it's a real next step in our uh, in our geolocation. Uh, uh, about process of this, energy consumption is up to ten time ten time less than uh, than that it was in the Bluetooth low energy. So first of all, you uh, our uh, ultra wideband technologies uh, will be uh, less consumption with energy. And that's why it will work longer time. Of course, it's a great process for me. Uh, due to fast ping, the accuracy of location transmission is measured in centimeters. For Wi-Fi, for example, it is one and a half meter. So it was, uh, it is more accuracy technology, and it's uh, help us to more accurate find our location. Uh, better interaction through the walls. Uh, and speaking about uh, ultra wide U1 chip, uh, for example, Apple uh, users knows that. Um, that our uh, air uh, that our airdrop technology on iPhones uh, right now working uh, with this chip and it's help us to uh, to higher speed of uh, our changing of of uh, data. So if you use one chip to die for, for data transmission, then the theoretical uh, transmission speed will be 480 megabits per second and distance up to 200 meters. So this uh, technology helps us to, to, trans to transform data uh, in the quite big uh, speed than in, for example, Bluetooth uh, and almost as Wi-Fi and on a much more bigger distance. So it's a pros of uh, ultra wide band uh, technology. And here you can see uh, how, it, uh, how it works on one of examples. Uh, it's uh, with a, our uh, football on American football. I, as I know right now, it is uh, really used on uh, live translations uh, and uh, uh, each player has own uh, ultra wide band chip that helps uh, statistics uh, to see uh, how, how many, for example, meters or kilometers player run uh, due player run uh, due to in the time of match. And cons of this technology not available on on devices, uh, as I've told, uh, iPhone before 11 do not has this chip. And uh, here, especially in Ukraine, we can't use this because uh, of our Ministry of Defense uh, use this. Um, uh, well, this way, to, to, and that's why uh, for civil uses we do not use, uh, we can't use uh, U1 chip. It's even added as documentation to Apple uh, site. Uh, it was about uh, U1 chip and how we can use it. Uh, Nerve interaction was added uh, as Nerve interaction uh, framework was added uh, two years ago with iOS 14 uh, to what to work with between the few U1 chips. We are using Nerve interaction on our uh, application to acquire the position of devices. Uh, since started with iPhone, uh, such as uh, iPhone, such as Apple Watch, and third party accessories. And evolution of NERBY, of NERBY interaction framework. Uh, it was uh, pre presented in 2020. And here on my screen, uh, we can see the just, uh, just my two, uh, two simulators of uh, iPhones that measure distance uh, between each other. Uh, unfortunately, I had no two devices, but now you can see uh, if I'll move in, in this situation uh, my uh, simulators, uh, this distance will be changed. It uh, was started as a uh, distance measurement for iPhones. After that, in uh, 2021, uh, was AirTag presented 
And what the, the, what can you see uh, right now? It's a direction to your air tag. Uh, this direction to your air tag, you can find them. Uh, and when you are near, you can play sound on them. And uh, this year on WWDC, what was added uh, a judgment, uh, um, a judgment reality plus every interaction. Uh, it's a real great uh, Apple's uh, communication between two frameworks uh, that can uh, add uh, some uh, AR uh, technologies to searching of your devices. And right now, uh, let's speak about uh, AirTags. Uh, you can see it, I guess. I I have four of them. One of them is near me. It's usually on my keys. Uh, and yeah, as a bonus, when you're buying, when you're buying it, uh, you can buy uh, a few of them, four in one set. Uh, you can uh, buy one. Uh, and uh, as a as a bonus, Apple can present you uh, for free uh, image on your on on your air tag as you see here it's a smiley uh, as i as i understand each smiley from our apple keyboard can be uh, draw on your on your own uh, air tag it's very useful for example one of them will be with key one of them will be with your bag one of them for, for example with a car and i'd like to show you how i'm using air tag uh, i'm using it on my doggy to my doggy do not do not uh, lost some some somewhere. So please send to chat some <laughs> doggy smile if you like Shiba Inu and maybe if you something know about doggy coin. So AirTex, uh, first uh, rumors about uh, AirTex uh, was uh, because uh, people knew about U1 uh, chip development at Nerby Interaction. That's why in 2019, we knew about, uh, some people knew about it, and uh, it was rumored in the internet, of course. Uh, it was presented in 2021, uh, sold indi individually for $21 without taxes, or a set of four for $99. Uh, AirTex uh, use, uh, uses use U1 and Bluetooth uh, Love Energy uh, for communication. Uh, and powered uh, by a battery that should last for one year. Uh, right now, mine has about 20% uh, left uh, for one year and for months of my usage of uh, AirTex. Uh, it was it has protection against dust and uh, Moazia IP67, which makes possible to be uh, depth on one meter for up to. 30 minutes. And here is the slide. Uh, right now, I can share um, uh, approximately 35% of people uh, answered that once per one minute our iPhone share location. 25% uh, of people answered once per 15 minutes. 20% uh, answered it depends. 15% answered once per hour and never answered 2% of people. 5% uh, of people, that is two people. And uh, here is a work principle of uh, air tags and not even air tags of your uh, devices like air, like uh, uh, Apple Watch, if you, will, uh, if you will lose them, or for example, your uh, iPhone. Uh, so for here, uh, you can see uh, your lost device. Uh, AirTex is, 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 is this round and uh, iPhone, for example. Uh, they broadcasted, as I uh, knew from a, dev from a developer site, each two seconds signal that they want to handshake with some devices. And let's imagine that some people with iPhone came near and uh, this iPhone uh, can do handshake with this device. So Bluetooth uh, energy, uh, Bluetooth low energy technology or ultra wideband technology uh, found uh, device near. Uh, this, this device uh, started to communicate and find their device 
sent to Apple's uh, to Apple's server uh, encrypted signal about uh, location. Uh, what we know about it, Apple servers from uh, Apple servers of Find My right now uh, know that uh, some device, for example, lost device or not lost device, uh, had communication with uh, some device with the location and sent a message uh, to your iPhone or your other device about location of your uh, of your of needed your device. Uh, so it, it is a really um, encrypted issue. So when, when you see on a third step when uploading encrypted location reports, uh, in this in Apple do not know your location, but Apple know location of broadcasted device that you have. So uh, correct answer uh, when your uh, when your iPhone sent your location that it is depends. It really depends on the situation where, where you are right now located. If you, for example, in uh, if you, for example, uh, near some other air tags, you can uh, your iPhone can uh, even one per second send your location, but in encrypted type. Uh, if you somewhere in a forest, it can be, of course, not uh, not so frequently. But uh, yeah, sometimes Apple when find uh, devices uh, send them that uh, location. Uh, why does it work like this? It's because uh, our uh, AirTag do not have uh, SIM card, do not have a connection to GPS. They have just Bluetooth and U1 connection. That's why it works like this. And it's about my items. It's my keys, it's my doggy, and it's my car. Uh, it's located uh, somehow. And uh, what is useful, I can see battery level. Uh, and right now I know that I need to change a battery on my uh, car's air tag. Uh, what can you do? If you, for example, found some people's uh, bag, uh, go inside and in your bag, you can find uh, air tag. You just need to scan this air tag and you'll see information that people provides to you. Uh, as I shown before, this information can be uh, or your mail, uh, this information also be your mobile phone. Uh, it's uh, details. You can go, uh, I didn't say it before, that you can uh, go, you can find uh, direction on the map uh, and it will open your favorite map, Google map or Apple map, what do you use? Uh, and uh, here is sorry for like I couldn't find this uh, print screen on English level on English uh, language. Uh, it's when you when you forgot some device. For example, you came from home and you do not came your key. You can in the settings add a mark that please uh, notify me when I uh, forgot to take my uh, item. And you will send, you will have push notification from Apple when you move from, for example, few meters from your house without your key. And you will understand that you do not close your home. Uh, as for me, very useful and very nice uh, issue. Uh, of course, it's very nice, but uh, speaking from a uh, low side, uh, this air tags can be used uh, by to detection of the detection of your location and uh, by low side it will be spying. So that's why if some people adds to if some people bring to you air tech, uh, these people will know your location. And Apple no and uh, Apple try to fight with it. Uh, on this, our find my application was added uh, possibility to find spying uh, devices. And after some, uh, for example, now you can see after five pinging, uh, the find my understood that some unknown device are near you. You can uh, find them uh, by playing sound and the pause safety alerts if it's, for example, uh, is air tech of your friend. Or maybe it's air, uh, or, or maybe it is your new air tag. Uh, so speaking from about security, Apple in this case, I guess very very useful uh, and very uh, lawfully working. 
and uh, competitors of uh, AirTag. So uh, Samsung Smart Tags, they uh, as uh, Apple working uh, just with uh, as Apple working just with iOS, uh, Samsung uh, Samsung Smart Tags working just with uh, um, Android devices with the Samsung devices. Uh, they too found some uh, Samsung uh, device. Uh, and sent uh, uh, encrypted uh, keys with the location uh, and you take it. When uh, I see comparison with uh, these two devices, it was absolutely uh, the same as, as for me. Uh, Tile and Chipola, it's multi-platform devices. Um, Tile, uh, you need subscription for this, but you, but your Tile, uh, but your Tile, uh, uh, on your, for example, key uh, that uh, can uh, uh, that can uh, ping in uh, by Apple i uh, but uh, Apple devices, but all Android devices, it might be a little bit more accuracy, uh, but you need to pay for Tile. Uh, Chipolo one work as the same, but as I understood, uh, they need no subscription, but. For example, in Ukraine, we can't buy them, uh, but Chipola and Tile looks, as for me, very, very interesting devices. And the GPS trackers, it's uh, not the same as uh, it's not the same as uh, AirTags, because uh, first of all, you need some SIM card and you need uh, some uh, connection to your cell uh, provider, uh, and uh, they have. Uh, as I understood, much more or less battery life, uh, approximately one week. Uh, and if, if we compare it with Tiles, Samsung or uh, AirTag, it is uh, much uh, less. Uh, but for example, for using it with your dog, it's quite a good idea. And uh, you, can, uh, you can do it yourself. Uh, there is some library. Uh, called Open High Stack uh, that have its own uh, programmer. You can uh, you can uh, take your own uh, ultra wideband chip, programming it, uh, edit name, and it will work uh, as the same. Uh, and yes, speaking about uh, AirTags, uh, I need to say that uh, unfortunately, uh, library IP for that is not opened. Uh, I waited two years. And right now it is closer to uh, hopefully soon on, on one of WWDC, maybe next year, maybe uh, after that uh, it will be opened and we can work with uh, API of AirTex and create own uh, programs. But speaking about Android, Android can work with uh, AirTex. Uh, some security lab from Germany, as I understood, created uh, Android application for finding uh, air tags that are near you. It's uh, approximately the same as our find my, when some people try to spy about you, uh, you find uh, this uh, device, you can play sound. And now it's a very interesting situation that uh, Android device can do much more with uh, Apple device than uh, iOS. And future of AirTags and uh, nearby interaction framework. Uh, first of all, the ability of create your own Find My. When a P of AirTags will be added, uh, will be opened, uh, we can create a lot of applications uh, using uh, using AR, uh, working with you uh, want chips, using it in the games. Uh, like for example, city quests, when you take your own uh, air tags, uh, move it to different place, interesting places uh, in your city, and some uh, teams came uh, and find them by, uh, by its own iPhones. Uh, creating of a widget, for me, it's uh, very, very useful. And I don't know why Apple do not prepare for us widget uh, right now. Uh, as for me, it will be great uh, to just open your iPhone and in a one click, click in it and play sound on any of your devices that you need. Uh, if frequently tracking is possible, creation of a fitness application, perhaps even for animal. And as I say, uh, Right now, it is uh, using in a, a, on a football 
uh, and uh, you, you as a usual player could just take your own uh, air tech, not for example your Apple Watch, but your air tech uh, moving when you play in football. And after that, you'll see how many uh, calories did you uh, did you spend during your uh, during your training. And interaction with new devices uh, via UI uh, U1 uh, chip will be added. Uh, so, for example, Apple Watch right now uh, is added uh, working with a remote control. For example, when you're working with your Apple uh, TV, sometimes you don't know where is your where is your um, uh, remote. Uh, if if Apple somehow will add it, uh, will add U1 chip to this remote, you can find them as other devices. Uh, when I prepared this, this, this when I prepared this presentation before, uh, in AirPods there wasn't a U1, U1 chip, and a few weeks ago it was added to AirPods. And some about uh, programming, uh, it is uh, nearby interaction uh, delegates, uh, how, it, how we can work. First of all, we can uh, monitor in peers. So we have few functions for find devices between themselves. Uh, and after that, managing interruption of them. And when you have communicated few devices, uh, we have nearby object. It's an object uh, which can help you to find distance, to find uh, direction to another uh, to another device, uh, horizontal angle, vertical angle, uh, and yeah. And here is uh, links. Uh, a lot of uh, links for developer up to Apple Developer Center uh, to WWDC sessions. Uh, yeah, if you need some questions, a lot of uh, are presented in um, official documentary. And thanks for your attention. Attention. Uh, I'll be happy to answer on your questions. And I, <laughs> I guess I know uh, two of your questions. Uh, first of all, it's my dog, my doggy name is Taishi. She is four years old. And uh, do her text cost its money? Yes, on my opinion, it is very interesting and useful device. So thanks for your attention. I'll be happy to answer on your questions. Thank you so much, Alexander. Thanks. Is there any question in the room or on the chat? Yeah, I'll I'll be reading it. I'll say a lot of doggy sense. <clears throat> yes, the audience, uh, the the people in the room will have a bit of delay, I think. Oh, comment from. Stefan, that uh, this is rare Apple devices, so when you can easily replace uh, battery without uh, avoiding warranty. Yeah, it's true. You can just take uh, your own uh, battery and replace it. And uh, but I guess warranty will be one year. <laughs> uh, and one, this battery is for one year old. Yeah, theoretically you can change it, but uh, hope uh, your battery will live longer than one year. more Taishi photos, I can send uh, Taishi's Instagram. <laughs> yes, please share. Please share a video of your Dogecoin. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is no question in the auditorium right now and no question on the chat. So everything is clear. Yes, you can join HS Pets also on Slack where there is a lot of uh, pets lover uh, at Bedrock. Uh, OK. So thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Thanks for your Bye. presentation. And the Apple Store is open, so you can uh, you can buy some uh, AirTags right now with your CB, everyone. So please, please buy AirTags. <laughs> yeah, okay. thanks, guys. 
See you. Thank you. Bye-bye.